Hello guys, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good day. So in this video, I'm going to make a short presentation video on columbic efficiency. Columbic efficiency for supercapacitor. So basically because some of our audience asking about how to calculate the columbic efficiency for supercapacitor. So throughout this presentation, you will know a little bit about definition of columbic supercapacitor columbic efficiency the formula and also some example of the graph how to plot the columbic efficiency so why i did this video because of one of our audience fahad rashid asking about how to calculate the columbic efficiency so it's quite easy so by definition columbic efficiency in the context of supercapacitor depends on the ratio of the amount of electrical charge release during discharge to the amount of electrical charge stored during charging. So means that you must divide the discharge specific capacity by charging specific capacity and times by 100. So as a result, when you got your higher columbic efficiency, a higher columbic efficiency indicates a more effective energy storage and retrieval process with less energy loss. Why is it like that? For example, when you capable to charge and get the specific capacity, you, your charging specific capacity, for example, is 100 farad per gram, and you can also deliver the amount, this, your discharge specific capacity around the same 100 farad per gram, means your columbic efficiency is 100%. That's why they said the higher the columbic efficiency indicates a more effective energy storage and retrieval process with less energy loss. If you're charging and discharging a specific capacity is not the same, it's far apart. So it means that your material cannot deliver cannot deliver what they get. For example, you charging at you get 100 farad per gram, but you want to deliver the discharging specific capacity, you only get 50 farad per gram, left you only a 50% efficiency. It's not that good. And at certain application, for example, lithium ion battery, the first cycle for columbic efficiency normally quite bad because of the formation of uh, SEI layer. So it depends on your application. But rarely you can see that a very bad behavior for CE, which is columbic efficiency, occur at supercapacitor. Okay, this is what you're waiting for, the formula for columbic efficiency. Okay, if you study about battery grade material, your columbic efficiency is this charge specific capacity divided by charging specific capacity times by 100. If you study about normal supercapacitor, it's discharge specific capacitance divided by charging specific capacitance times 100. Okay, this is applicable for your device, your supercapacitor device. If you study, for example, a tree electrode system, so a tree electrode system is normally the same. However, for lithium ion battery, the formula is reversed means that you should divide charging divide by discharging for three electrod because at three electrod the lithium metal always be an anode so it's quite different in terms of the supercapacitor so basically if you are dealing with supercapacitor the columbic efficiency is discharge specific capacity divided by charging specific capacity times by 100 then you can get your specific columbic efficiency However, some might wonder, we just stayed for one cycle, two cycle. So normally, for the, in this case, we are dealing with a stability retention test. So when you are running your device with stability test, you want to know about the retention of your material. What you did is, you did at certain cycle, right? For example, you run your galvanostatic charge discharge, charging discharging curve at some cycles. For example, the first graph is for 100 cycles, second graph to 80 cycles. Then you're going to calculate the columbic efficiency at each cycle and to show the trend. Is it the increasing trend or the trend that close to 100%? So in conclusion, 
the columbic efficiency close to 100% means that your material is good because it shows a good, what we call it again, it shows a very good reversible process. So it can go to charging and discharging at the same rate. So I think that's all. It's quite simple to calculate the columbic efficiency. That's all. Thank you.